we are doing the glass bottom boat excursion. So we're super excited. Right. Last time we were here, they weren't running it yet, and it's brand new, so we're gonna go check it out. Walked across the bridge, and we're meeting at the shore excursion desk, which is number 26 on the map. So here we are. There was the tram. We could have taken the tram. Hi! We could have taken the tram right here, but we walked. Meeting at the Swimming Pig Tour Station. Hi, how are you? Hello. We're checking for the glass bottom boat. Yeah. Ah, right on the edge here. Here we go. All right. You have tickets? Yes. I can have them. You sure can. How are you guys enjoying your vacation? We are. Thank you. You can sign for each of you, separate line, sign for anyone. How about you enjoying yourself? Sign for everybody under 18. That's going to be everybody. All right, so we checked in at the shore excursion desk at the Swimming with the Pigs tour. And our meet time is 11.45 for a 12 o'clock boat ride. And we are just going to hang out here. We've got a nice little shady spot. Y'all let me come with you, lady. Ain't nobody call me. I was falling asleep. Oh, I thought they were supposed to come get us. No, it was me. Oh. Was five, I supposed to take y'all out the boat from 12. Oh, well, we were starting to wonder, but we thought maybe they were still cleaning out there. And... Oh, uh -uh, that's my fault. So we thought maybe they were just cleaning up the boat. Hello. All right. All right, where's the best seat in the house? Anywhere. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. All right. All right, so we're just getting onto the glass bottom Ooh. boat, and we decided to sit all the way at the end so that the boys could have a nice view of the water. And as we're pulling away, Chris and Nick were on the shore, and they got a nice video of us actually pulling away. That was super cool. As you can see, we're pretty close to shore still. And we didn't get very far off of the shore, actually. It just, I mean, we were pretty much within swimming distance the entire time that we were out there. They just brought us right past the swimming area, and there was a plane crashed about 80 years ago, they said. There were some small fish down there, nothing huge or anything, um, but it was pretty. There were two different locations for the crash. Okay, so here we are over the second section. And I believe I might have caught a barracuda swimming around down here. There was one fairly large barracuda, and then the rest were all just pretty much small tropical fish. Um, again, nothing big. We didn't see any sharks or sea turtles, though they do say that during some of the tours they have seen them. So it's something to look out for. You can see the coral reef here. And you can also see towards the bottom of the screen how, you know, every time the driver maneuvers, it kind of, it makes it harder to see through the glass. But if you look towards the front section of the glass bottom boat, you can see that you have a clear view still. So my recommendation for the glass bottom boat is when you get in, I would make sure you're either the last one on or be the first one on and and just stop and find your seat instead of walking all the way down. But either way, I mean, it clears up pretty quick, but I did notice that the view from the front of the glass bottom boat was much nicer. I would say probably about 90% of the time. Okay, here's an aerial shot of the Coco Cay area. Over here is the island where they do the pig tours from, and we have a video for that. We'll link in the description. This is where we thought we were going to be doing the tour at. Over here, you can see the cabanas, one through 10. We also have an excellent video about that, which will also be in the description. Here's the excursion shack. This is where you go to. This is the meeting place for most of the water-based tours. And lastly here, you can see, um, this is the boat actually before it left on the tour. And I'm gonna show you the route, and it's close to the route that they took, but it's not exact. As it goes, you can see they stay pretty close along the edge of the island. They ran down along the reef a little bit, and then most of the time they spent out there, it looked to me like they were out on the flats for almost all of it. 
So while we were here on the flats, the captain jumped overboard and brought some buckets with him and literally with his hands just started grabbing some sea life right out of the water. He got a fish and Austin got to hold the fish, which he was holding it for quite a while and I finally was like, ah, should we not put him back in the water so he doesn't die? Um, then there was a starfish. We got to pass the starfish around and conch shells and inside the conch shell was still the live animal, so that was pretty cool. Um, though Austin heard that and he was like, hey, who's next? And Alex was pretty sure it wasn't going to be him. So uh, anyway, Amanda was super excited about this part. This is her favorite part. She loves marine life and all creatures living in the water. So she was very interested in it. And I think she was hoping to see a glimpse of the animal, but it never did come out. Uh, so Austin was happy. He got to hold the starfish. And um, then, you know, everybody was passing around different starfish. And as you can see, Alex, Definitely skipped over this part. He wasn't impressed with the dripping on him. And uh, yeah, but Amanda loved it and everybody else on the tour did as well. Okay, so as you can see, the glass bottom boat was just past where the jet ski rental was and we're still offshore. We never got past there. It just, we were super close the whole entire time. You see where the dark brown pieces are over here? All that is dark brown, light brown, because the tide is falling in the next three hours. If you're still here, You'll see literally, you can walk. It does sound flat to me. You can walk from this end of the island to the other end of the island. Now, if you get a catch, you gotta wait for six hours until the tide changed. So if you wanna go for calm fish, you can pick them up. Or you can help them back in the water because there's so much out there. That's how marine life happens. Some gotta die, but some gotta live. All right, so we just finished up the glass bottom boat, and what'd y'all think? It was, it was really, really fun. cool. It was good. Yeah, good? Yeah, it was pretty fun. So, what do you think? The wildlife? Uh, it was cool. What was like, your favorite part? My favorite part was probably holding the starfish. Oh wait, no, 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 no. My favorite part was when they put like a little fish like this big in my hand, and it was like flopping around. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. How about uh, you, Amanda? I liked holding the, they gave us like a live conch shell. And also the starfish was really cool. Alex, you just you just enjoyed the ride? Pretty much. Alright. Just sitting there and looking down at the water. Yeah, it was actually very relaxing. And it was crystal clear, right? There were so How many jellyfish. Oh, too. that's the other thing. For all the people getting stung. There was like at Coco these, Cay. Like, little things. There were so many. There were hundreds. Yeah, there were so many jellyfish. It was crazy. <laughs> Here's my number. It's crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So anyway, super cool tour. Definitely recommend it. And yeah, check out the glass bottom boats then at Coco Key. It was a lot of fun. Oh, and look who it is. It's Dad and Nick. Hi, Nick. Bye. Bye. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and see where we're going next. Bye for now.